All right, let us continue from question 11 to 20 of May 2018. Item 11 refers to the following information on the description of three sets. Set B is prime numbers. So we can let B equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on and so forth. These are the prime numbers. Then we have set Q, which is odd numbers. So we can let Q be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Then we're talking about the even numbers. So we can 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on and so forth. Now, which of the following set is empty? So let's calculate for each set. So for P intersection R, elements in P and R that are common is only two. Then P union Q are elements in P or Q or both. And these are the elements. Then elements in P intersection Q. We have elements in P and Q, and these are the elements. Then we have Q intersection R, Q and R. What element is common to both? No element. Therefore, it is an empty set. And the correct answer for option for question 11 is option D. If P and Q are two sets where N, that is the number of P union Q, number of that, the number of element in that set is 13. The number of elements in Q, P intersection Q is equal to 6. And the number of elements in P is 9. Then, number of elements in Q will be what? So we use the De Morgan's law. Number of elements in P union Q is equal to number of elements in P plus number of elements in Q minus number of elements in P intersection Q. So let us substitute the given values to get 13 plus 9 as given. Then we are not giving this, that's what we are looking for. So minus 6. Now we simplify 9 minus 6 will give us 5 9 minus 6 will give us 3 then we subtract 3 from both sides to get 13 minus 3 which is equal to 10 therefore the correct answer is B what about question 13 a man's taxable income is $20,000 he pays tax at the rate of 28%. The amount of income tax he pays is. So the income tax is the tax charge on the taxable income. So that will be 28% of 20,000. So 28 over 100 times 20,000. So when we cancel, we know this will get rid of this. Then we are left with 28 times 200. So multiply the 2 by 28 to get 56. 2 by 28 to get 56. Then you include it double zeros to get $5,600. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. What about question 14? A man's basic wage for a 40 hour week is $160. He is paid $5 per hour for overtime if he works six and a half hours overtime in a certain week. His wage for that week is so the wage for the week will be the basic wage plus the overtime and it. So we were given that the basic wage is one sixty dollars. The overtime is six out six and a half hours, and each hour is five dollars. So 
we multiply this by this but let us first of all convert this to an improper fraction by multiplying 6 by 2 to get 12 plus 1 which is 13 over 2 so now we can simplify we multiply 5 by 30 you get 65 65 over 2 is 32.5 now we can add 160 to 32.5 to get 192.5 dollars so the correct answer is this if that if t t dollars that is 60 t dollars is equivalent to um, one us dollars then 15 TT dollars will be equal to how many US dollars? So we use the unitary method. We know that if 6 is equivalent to 1, then dividing through by 6, we get this. So it means 1 TT dollars equivalent to 1 over 6 US dollars. So to get a 15 dollars for the TT dollars, we multiply both sides by 15. And when we do that, we get 1 over 6 times 15, which is the same as 2.5 TT dollars. So 15 TT dollars go to 2.5 US dollars. So this is the correct answer based on the conversion rate. The annual interest rate on a 15 year mortgage on a house assessed at a value of 450,000 is 5 cents on every one dollar what is the interest paid on the mortgage for the first year so the interest rate is five cent and five cent is the same as five out of hundred dollars so the interest paid on the mortgage will be equal to four hundred fifty thousand dollars times five over hundred which is five cents now we can simplify this by cancelling so let's cancel this and this then we are left with four thousand five hundred dollars times five you can multiply five by forty five 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 will give you twenty five you write down the two you write down the five sorry write down the five Then left with two. Then five, four, twenty plus the two. That will give you twenty-two. Twenty-two. Then we are left with the, we, we just attach the zeros. Let's attach the zeros. So that will give you twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars. Therefore, the correct answer is this. Now let's look at the seventeen. Mary invested this amount that is two hundred dollars for five years at five percent per annum. John invested five hundred at the same rate. If they both received the same amount of money in simple interest, for how many years did John invest his money? So we can calculate Mary's interest using the simple interest formula. I equal PRT as principal times time times rate or principal times rate times time. So that will give us this. If you multiply this, you know this you cancel this, this will go here two times. We are left with two. Then two times five will give you what? Two times five times five. And that will give you fifty because five five of twenty five times two is fifty dollars. Now let's calculate John's interest and let's say John used T years or invested it for two years. T years. Then John's interest using this formula, this same formula will be 500 times 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 the rate. And this time this will cancel this and it will go here how many times? Five. So we are left with five times T times five, which is 25 T. So if both interest, if both of them receive the same amount of money in simple interest, 
then it means their interest is equal. This means that 25t is equal to 50. Divide both sides by 25 to get t is equal to 2 years. Therefore, it took 2 years for the investment was 2 years long for John. Now let's look at the continuation of the question which is number 18. A sales a salesman sells a car for eleven thousand dollars if he is paid a commission of four point five percent for the first ten thousand and seven point five percent on the remainder then the commission he receives is so the commission on the first ten thousand is four point five percent of ten thousand and that will give you four point five out of hundred times ten thousand now this will cancel this we are left with 4.5 times 100 and that will give you 450 dollars now let's continue with the question it says that the commission on the remainder is 7.5 percent so that will be equal to um, 7.5 percent uh, that is the rate is 75 7.5 percent so the commission will be 7.5 percent of the remaining amount so 11,000 minus 10,000 dollars will give you 1,000 dollars. 7.5 percent times this. So you know this will cancel this. We are left with 10. 7.5 times 10. Just move the decimal point forward once. And that will give you 75 dollars. So what we do next? We combine both. Combine both. So the total commission that he receives will be equal to 450 plus 75 and that will give you 525 dollars so the correct answer is b now let's look at the next question a television set costs 350 dollars cash when bought on high purchase a deposit of 35 is required followed by 12 monthly installment a 12 monthly payment of 30 dollars how much is saved by paying cash so we know the amount paid on high pages is 35 plus 12 times 30 dollars and you know 12 times 30 will give you 360 dollars now add it to 35 dollars to get 395 dollars now the next thing is that we need to see how much you pay cash which is 350 so the amount is saved will be equal to 395 and minus the 350 and that will give us 45 dollars therefore you might you would have saved any 45 dollars by paying cash now let's look at the 20th question mr jones bought a car for 64,000. the car depreciates by 20 percent in the first year and 10 percent in each of the following years the value of the car at the end of the second year was so let's go we know the depreciation for the first year is 20 percent of this and that will give us 20 over 100 times 64,000 so this will go here 640 times 20 times this will give us 12,800 dollars now the balance for the beginning of the next year will be this amount minus this that will give us 64,000 minus 12,800 so this will simplify to 51,200 now the next thing we do is this calculate the depreciation for the second year by applying the rate which is 10 percent to get 10 percent of this is the same as 10 over 100 times this and that will give us 5120 dollars so to get the, uh, the value of the car at the end of the second year we subtract this value this value from this one to get the value of the car at the end of the second year to be 5 51,200 minus 5,120 dollars.
and that will give us forty six thousand and eighty dollars. So the correct answer is D C. So thank you for watching up to this point. Show some love by subscribing to my second channel, Tutor Francis. You can do that by just typing this name or searching this name on YouTube and you see it over there. Then you subscribe to it, Tutor Francis. It teaches about computer technology. You can learn a lot from it. So if you want me to upload a new video or continuation as soon as possible, just subscribe to my second channel in addition to this one. Now, uh, if you can still see this red in here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.